Electrical Hazards and Emergency Situations During the course of this training, we have focused on hazard recognition, evaluation, controls, and safe work practices. But despite the best laid plans, accidents do occur. So, what should you do if a worker is shocked or burnt by electricity? If a coworker has been shocked or burnt by electricity, the most important thing you can do is to shut off the electric current. While you do this, have someone else call for help. If you cannot get to the electrical shutoff or you do not know where it is located, use a non-conductive item, such as a dry wooden board or plank, to pry the victim from the electrical source. Never directly touch someone who is being shocked or you will be shocked too. Stay with the victim until emergency services arrive. Call the victim's name to see if they are responsive. If the victim is alert, tell the victim not to move. It is possible for people to be seriously injured and not realize it. If you see any major bleeding, place a cloth over the wound and apply pressure. If the bleeding is in an arm or leg, gently elevate the injured area to help slow the bleeding. If the victim does not respond when you call their name, check for signs of breathing. If the victim is not breathing, CPR should begin immediately by a trained employee. To be effective, CPR must begin within four minutes of the incident. If you are not trained in CPR, consider getting your training before you find yourself in an emergency situation. Every employee should know the location of electricity shutoffs, first aid supplies, and a telephone so emergency services can be summoned quickly. Remember, in an emergency, quick action is essential and offers the best chance of survival.